everybody. This is the Lamley Showcase. I'm standing. I've got the new setup going. It feels really, really good. I hope it does for you too. We can get to some of these videos that I've been meaning to do. And now that I have the space, why not go big to start? So I'm standing 164. I will. Man, I wanted to do something totally different to do the first video in this new setup. And it has everything to do with this box here. We're talking big rigs. I got the latest big rig to join the big rig family. I dig the big rigs. I don't have a huge big rig family, but those members are huge. They are big big trucks and I'm going to give you a sense of what I am talking about today. I actually showed this truck on Lamley Live a few weeks ago when this box arrived but it's now time to do a true showcase of what is in there but this is what we're not going to showcase today. This type of stuff. This isn't Hot Wheels in a Matchbox video today. This is something entirely different. So this is not what we're talking about. Now, Team Transport, I love it. You love it. These cars are fantastic. These sets are fantastic. It's going to get even better into 2021. But, no, nope, we're not talking about this one. We're just not talking about these types. We're not talking about the haulers. Like I said, we're talking big rigs. Now, Hot Wheels has done big rigs. Big rigs. At least big cabs. How about this RLC Beauty, the Thunder Roller from a few years ago? I think this thing is absolutely fantastic, but I don't see a trailer on it, A, and it's, uh, you'll see why we're not talking about this size. They actually did an entertainment version of it as well. These are all cars that I really like, or vehicles that I like. They're all sitting on my wall display over in that direction. In fact, they even did this licensed cab, which I think is awesome. It's the Kenworth from Entertainment as well. I think this showed up in pop culture. I like it. It's in the wall display. I've showcased this before. I did a big, big rig Hot Wheels video, I think, at one point. But uh, again, that's not what we're talking about. So we're going to move all of these over to the side. And we're definitely not talking. Now, I know Matchbox has done cabs and rigs as well. You've got the sequel to the Convoys, the Super Convoys. And I dig this Tesla truck. But uh, we're definitely not talking about this type as well. First off, it's a little light. Um, it's a little small basically in that Hot Wheels Matchbox range. You know, that's why they're not 164. They have to kind of stay within a range. So it's great to have it. It's not going to be scaled perfectly next to right other Hot Wheels or Matchbox cars because they have to work with what they have to. And I like what they do. But again, this isn't what we're talking about. I'll show you what we're talking about. This is what we're talking about. Much, much bigger stuff. Stuff that the Matchbox truck as nice as it is, can't handle, so you're off as well. And let's talk about the real big rigs. 164, pure 164 scale. These are the Tomica Limited Vintage Hino haulers. I've got four of these haulers. And I've showcased all of these before. And like I said, we're dealing with uh, not a huge family member wise but big members of this family four of the five car haulers, haulers we'll get those out they're not done they we have this guy this is the tractor and tokyo td302 trailer this flat, kind of flatbed style trailer and then this guy with the wing roof trailer also a hino cab all the cabs are the same but these guys have trailers They've even done just the cabs themselves, but no trailers. Not in the video. So off to the side that you go as well. And we're not done. This, these are the first six members of the family. But I have two fairly recent members as well. These big guys here. The Mercedes-Benz Actros cab with the car carrier trailer from Mini GT. And its companion, the same Mercedes-Benz Actros cab with the 40 foot container the Maersk, Maersk trailer as well we've shown those but they're part of the family they come out so what we got to do now is get this party ready for its newest member which is in here 
And we start with this guy, the Mercedes-Benz Actros five car carrier. Actually, I think it's a six car trailer carrier. And it really gets down to, this is one of the things. Now, do I love the big rig? Yes, I do. I've actually told the story that I would sit in the front seat of my parents' car when I was a little kid. It sounds weird now, but no seat belts. We stood in the middle as a little toddler and I'd point out every truck, except I didn't, I wasn't able to say truck. So it came out starting with an F. You guys can figure out the rest. So my uh, foul mouth habit started very early. So I've always liked the big rigs, but I haven't had a ton of them in the collection A because they're so big. So it's gotta be the right truck to fit in. And when Mini GT released these, I knew I had to have them. Super, super detailed, heavy. You can see all the details in this trailer. We can add cars we're not going to today. And amazing details in the cab, including wheels that turn. Of course, we've got all the details in the back too. So I knew I had to have that one. And then on top of that, maybe my favorite of the two is the Maersk tractor trailer. 40 foot container trailer with the removable super heavy metal container with the doors I actually had it backwards in the with the doors that open detailed inside and yeah nothing light about that so the container truck looks cool just by itself you can see if I took this off you can see all the details including the spare rubber tire and all the details that they've included in this totally functioning as well and then of course we've got the same cab in black with the with the uh, turning front wheels so let's get those ready for their new family member let's see who else is joining the party we have to start of course with these from Tomica Limited Vintage, it is the Hino HE366 Tractor and Antico or Antico ASZ022 Car Transporter. All right, here they are, the next four, the Hino 5 Car Hauler, starting with the first one in green and white, the next one in yellow and blue, next one in gray and kind of a teal color, which is very, very cool. And these, just like the Mini GT, incredibly detailed. Here's the final one coming into your picture. This one is a little different. It's got, it's, everything's the same. The cab is the same. The trailer is the same, except the wheels are a little bit more chromed out than the other ones. You can see that right there. These are fantastic too. First and foremost, when you look at the cab, there's that rubber spare tire, just like the Mini GT. You've got the double tires in the back. You've got all that detail down below. You've got all the detail in the back, of course, the cab itself, like Mini G or like Tomica Limited Vintage always does. It's super, super detailed. And then this thing is a functioning trailer. Another rubber tire there on the side, which is its spare. And if you actually put this here, Oh, first off, you can actually, let's do it that way, you can actually stand it up. So we'll put the cab off to the side. And you got to put cars in here, so you just pick this up, put this down, you pull this out, and then you can haul the cars that you need to haul. Close it up and get those cars hauled away. Also from Tomica Limited Vintage. Same cabs. I don't need to show you the cabs, but I will show you the wing roof trailer. I mean, you'll see the cabs. I don't have to show them up close. And then, of course, this one with the flatbed. Well, let's call it the flatbed. Tokyo TD302 trailer. Let's get these open as well. All right, final two of the family. Now that they're open, we have the wing trailer. Same cab as the haulers, but this time a very, very different trailer. As a matter of fact, you want to check out the details. We'll check out the details, of course. Spare tire once again. Two axles this time in the back. This one 
opens up this way, including the flaps down below. So whatever's being hauled can be pulled out of the side by I assume a forklift or something like that. Check out how cool that is. This one is a little bit, has it's more plastic pieces I'm assuming so that these stay a little bit stickier. I've always said with Tomic Limited Vintage, if they use plastic, they really have a reason to do it. So that is that one and then one that I just think is awesome we'll this over here is this flatbed truck. Now this one is different because as you can see, it has the double axles in the back with the cab and then this very heavy all metal trailer. Check out all of the wheels on the back. This thing, how cool is that? Including, there's the spare tire. Everything's the same about the cab from this particular angle, but you can see it's got the two axles instead of one axle in the back. And this thing is a monster, probably good enough to hold. Well, all right, Hot Wheels, you can come back to the party. There you go. Haul another cab. So let's move this one off to the side as well. Hot Wheels will get you off the party. And now it's time to add our final member, at least for now, of the Big Rig family. So let's get it out and check it out. This brand, I was in contact with them and they said we'd love to send you a truck, which they did. It is DCP by First Gear. First Gear is the brand, they're here in the United States. And they have, if you go to their website, which I will definitely link below, you will see all kinds of cool rigs. Now, like any of these, the Tomica Limited Vintage 5 car haulers, they're ridiculously priced. You can find them for a good deal. What you see on eBay right now, like $300, $400, $500, $500, I don't think that's a realistic price. That's why they haven't sold. The Mini GTs are approaching a high price as well, but when they come out new, they're a little bit newer, or a little bit better, I think, in the $60, $70 range. When these come out new, I think they're in that same, maybe $90 to $100. Um, all the Tomic Limited Vintage. And same with these. When you're talking about the level of detail and you're talking about all of the materials used and the skill involved in making a 164 model of this detail and this scale, they're gonna be expensive. You have to expect to pay a lot of money. It's a lot different than what you're getting in Team Transport or like Convoy or anything like that. These are definitely collectible models and this thing is going to be a very welcome addition to my truck family. This is Ron Kelsey's Sunrise Express. That must be Ron. That's clearly his Sunrise Express. And you can see, I won't get into all the details, but this is a replica of a real truck by a real trucker. And I'm super excited to add it to the family. So let's open this up. If I had more space for the big rigs, I would add more big rigs because I'm a car guy for sure, but there's just something cool about these big, massive trucks that uh, that I just uh, I just get really excited about. So yeah, like I said, I pick and choose Move that box off to the side. First thing you notice when you open it up is this is kind of cool. It does have a certificate of authenticity, one of a thousand has a cool certificate. Let's check out this rig. 164 scale, so it fits in nicely with these others that I have. But first thing we're gonna do, these are like, someone asked if they look like straws. They have, they're, they're a little bit you know, higher quality than straws. You can see they're a little thicker, but these are the pipes. They're getting hauled. Here is the fantastic trailer. Just like the Tomic Limited Vintage, you've got just an incredible amount of detail, and the Mini GT for that matter. And check out this beauty. Now one thing I noticed since I opened it, and I won't take them out right now, but attached to this are the ties so you can tie down the cargo. I'm not gonna get those out, because I just wanna look at the replica itself. Now let's start actually, let's move this to the side. And let's look at this massive trailer that I can barely get in the shot, even with my new setup. You can see detailed on the top, it is metal, die cast, and it's heavy. 
you've got the two axles in the back, also highly detailed. The flaps are plastic, which makes them look a little more precise. I think that's why you use plastic in models like this. I think if we use the ties, we can just attach them, just latch them onto the bottom here because there's kind of a lip there. And we went off to the side. Now let's take a look at this. Die cast metal as well. The first thing before I put it on the turntable, the first thing you notice, well, let's look at the bottom. You've got all the axes, you've got everything detailed on the bottom here. I mean, these remind me so much of the trucks that I'm so used to with Tony from the vintage. And then this one actually has this opening hood to show off the engine, which is also ridiculously detailed. And then you just have to take a look at the truck itself. You can see it's got that extended back. It's got the wiring just like the Mini GT, which I think is a really, really cool touch. You can see how it's detailed back there. It's got really, really cool rims. I love that. I love the cab. It's got the sleeper. Just if you get, if you used to get giddy about trucks, you can't help but get giddy about a model like this. It's just a monster. And it just looks so good. Mirrors are detailed. Obviously the exhausts are fantastic. And it is massive. Can I get in the shot? There it is. It doesn't roll. I wonder if someone's asking. Of course it does. It looks good doing it. There you go. This is my entire big rig collection. Like I said, it may not be a huge collection, but I am super thrilled to have it. I am super thrilled to have this new member of the Big Rig family. I love seeing them on my new display. You guys tell me what you think. Link down below the first gear and DCP because you want to check out their website because this is one of a kajillion. They do larger scales as well, but uh, I like the, this 164 as well. Oh man. Someone asked on my video a while ago if I make vroom vroom sounds when I'm not doing videos. Well, how about I make them while I do videos? This is just awesome. And yeah, I'll probably keep these out for a while and vroom vroom these trucks all over this uh, display area. You guys tell me what you think. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye.